Hey guys, it's me, Moth Marauder, and for today's figure review video, we're going to be looking at Funko Pop's new Crash Bandicoot figure. So yeah. Anyways, let's start with detail. Now I'm going to go ahead and skip accuracy because um, when it comes to these pop figures, they're not going to be 100% accurate. So yeah, I'm just, I mean, not that I have a problem with that, but just thought I'd tell you guys that I won't be going over accuracy. So yeah, let's just skip to texture then. For the texture, well, the texture on here is really, really nice. It's like, honestly, there's not a lot of texture, but it's really nicely sculpted nonetheless. Like, I like what they've done with the, the hair on his head, the ears, the eyebrows, the hands, and the, those strange gloves he's wearing, the pants and the shoes. It's really nicely done. You know, the teeth there, they're decently sculpted. Nothing much in the back, so yeah, that's what I meant by not a lot of texture, but like I said, it's really nicely sculpted, so yeah. And um, paint job, for the most part, paint job is pretty good. I mean, well, like the, what color is this, ornish brown? Like the ornish brown in this color looks cool, but if anything, I think it should be a little bit brighter orange. Like, uh, you see this Gatorade cap? I think it should be, like, I think his fur color should be, like, this brighter orange and not this uh, brownish, dirty orange. But that's just me. So, yeah. It may be kind of slightly inaccurate, but it looks really nice. So, yeah. However, um, there, are, there are other areas that don't have the inaccurate paint job. Like the shoes and the pants and the gloves the paint job on that seems seems to be pretty accurate in my opinion you have the traditional black eyes because he's a fungal pop figure so yeah his eyebrows are like this uh, brownish color so yeah besides from the slightly inaccurate uh, fur color for like the brownish orange paint job still really nice overall so yeah in our well for articulation um, as far as I can tell, he has absolutely no articulation. Kind of like the Bandai Creations Hedorah figure, which I still need to get my hands on. But, yeah. I mean, these arms make it look like they could move, but they don't. For some weird reason. But, yeah. I mean, I could care less because it's a pop figure. They don't really have a lot of articulation to begin with, aside from maybe the head. But, yeah, no articulation. I mean, it's weird, but totally fine with it. And last but not least, rarity. Now, um, on the foot, now on uh, either this foot, I think, it said 2017, so I'm going to have to guess that it came out last year. So, yeah. Well, since it came out last year and the fact that he's a pop figure, he should be very, very common to find. Well on the internet, that is. I'm not too sure about toy stores, but um, I got this one from Amazon. So, yeah, I think it was from a store called uh, Radar Toys, I think. I think they're from Ohio, but I could be wrong, but I do know that the store or whatever is called Radar Toys. So, yeah. So, overall, this figure should be pretty common. So, yeah. If you want to get a Crash Bandicoot pop figure, um, like I said, you probably might find some better, or you probably might have a chance of finding some online rather than at your local toy store or whatever. But, eh, whatever. It's up to you where you want to get this figure, really. But like I said, I recommend you check out Amazon or whatever. Oh, and Fungal Pop also has their own website, by the way. Make sure you could also uh, browse there for the crash bandicoot figure but yeah so in the end this figure is pretty common so yeah and that's pretty much it really sorry if this is a shorter review i mean uh it's not a lot of like there's no articulation and i already said that i wasn't going to talk about accuracy so yeah i mean i guess that could be why this video is so short but yeah but that's pretty much it for this review detail is really really nice paint job is slightly inaccurate for like the orange but it's still really nice looking nonetheless 
I really like it. No articulation and rarity. Um, he is, well, really common. He's a pop figure after all. So yeah. So in the end, I give this pop figure a 4 out of 5. A 4 because of the slightly inaccurate paint job. But, aside from that, the, it does look really, really nice. I really like it. Whether or not it's inaccurate or whatever, I still really like the paint job. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you have, give it a like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you want. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Once again, that's a 4 to 5, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.